So today we're going to be looking at the Wilcox G24. This is the Wilcox G24 breakaway mount that you use to basically mount on your shroud of your bump helmet or ballistic helmet and it basically mounts the night vision device to your helmet. This thing costs about 500 bucks. I didn't pay that much for it, thank God, but that's how much these usually retail for. This mount is 100% pretty much all that you need to connect your PBS 14, your binos, whatever, to your helmet. Um, however, the reason why this is kind of the go-to for so many folks is because there's really no other options. I mean, this is really the only one that's actually um, usable because I've used other, I've used the, the Rhino mounts or, and I've used the the other mil spec mounts. I don't know, I forget what they were called, but they were all like, they all sucked. I have used the Amazon version, which is a cheap Chinese knockoff and those retail for about $100. And I was very surprised at how similar in feel and function, almost function, that it came to the original Wilcox G24. Some of the things about it, like the machining was just a little bit off. Um, and the way that it kind of mounted and interfaced onto the helmet, um, it didn't really work sometimes. So it kind of sucks for now. But I feel like sooner or later, they're gonna make a, a copy that's actually, you know, just as good as this and I don't see why they couldn't. Basically, there is a breakaway mount option here. So basically what that means is when you have your night vision mounted onto your helmet and you're wearing your helmet, if your night vision gets caught in something, um, you basically, if there's enough force applied, this will break off instead of your neck, which is a pretty nice feature. And the reason why I'm making this video is because you know, there's a lot of, there's already a ton of videos kind of going over the G24 and like the review, but there's not really a lot of like close up kind of hands on um, kind of videos that you can look at, right? So um, this, I have no idea what that is. Honestly, you probably shouldn't even be watching this if you're trying to learn something. Um, I am not an expert on this, but basically there's this button and when you, press this to the other side you see that that is what connects and maintains this to the shroud of your helmet so here i have a team wendy bump helmet this part this bottom part that part goes in here and it locks in there and it stays in there Um, so that's what this does it pretty much locks it into place. Um, this lever, if you push it to the here, you can adjust the height and of the height of the mount in relation to the, the helmet. And that's really convenient and it feels really nice. Actually, part of me is like trying to like justify the cost of something like this, right? And part of it is because everyone is different. Everyone's eyes are different. Everyone's facial structure is different. Everyone's eyes in relation to their facial structure is different. Um, and it's going to be very individual. And that's the same thing with your the way your night vision is set up. Um, and because of that, it has to be at a certain distance away from your eyes, at a certain angle, um, at a certain height. You know, so there's a lot of like parts that need to be very specific to the user. And that's why I think something like this, the G24 is really useful and where it shines because it's really good at basically, <clears throat> um, basically adjusting the night vision device to the user um, as specifically as possible. So this again, adjusts the height. This kind of also adjust the angle of the night vision. And this, these two buttons, you depress and then you can adjust how far away you want the night vision device away from your eyes. And this connects to your helmet and this connects to your 
uh, night vision device, and it does so through this dovetail. And basically, um, you there's a dovetail adapter, um, whether it's a J arm or whatever, if it's if it's part of the housing of the night vision, that clips onto here, and then you're good to go. And then to release the night vision device, you press this button. And this button kind of depresses this latch. And it's very slight. I don't know if it's the model that I, I don't, I don't know if it's the specific one that I have, but this one is like, I, it, sometimes it doesn't even click into place, but it is, it's, it is in place. And then this is basically what kind of locks the device either in the upwards position on your helmet, stowed away, or deployed. Why not just get a cheapo version of this and just run a lanyard to your night vision device, which is what I was doing. But then I was finding it was such a pain in the ass to take the night vision device on and off uh, my helmet because it wouldn't fit correctly. Yeah, so is the Wilcox G24 mount worth $500? I think another thing to keep in mind also is it's not just the materials and the labor that goes into making a product. You also have to factor in, uh, you know, design, um, you know, manufacturing, tooling, uh, customer service, QC. At the end of the day, it does what you need it to do. Yeah, if you have any other questions about this device, um, please leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching.